What's something that isn't a religion, but pretty much feels like one? Sports. I love my teams, but some people just take it way too far. Herbalife. Politics shouldn't be like sports. Celebrity worship rubs me the wrong way. Multi-level marketing. Some religious studies scholars argue that Disney and its theme parks serve the same purpose as religion for many people. Political affiliations. CrossFit. K-pop fandoms I'm an outsider. Not into K-pop much. I heard a few songs e.g. Bang 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 by Big Bang. Anti-Fragile by La Ssrafim. NXDE by GIDLE to name a few. And saw that the fans can't accept any criticism towards their idols. Especially Blinks and Armies. For example I saw Blinks fight with once as the fandom of twice. A nine-member group of JYP Entertainment about who's the best girl group. I think about people who get sucked deep into diet workout lifestyle regimens that literally become their entire personality. To me being raised in the South where religion basically is your major personality trait anything that takes over your personality it could be work hobby kids Star Wars as well starts to feel like religion. Football in the South After researching a few cults for fun I see cult-like behavior everywhere. In corporate speak. In advertisements. In hobby groups. In political discussions. And in just common conversations about beliefs such as what is and isn't good for you. Alcoholics Anonymous. Don't get me wrong. They do good work. They have helped a lot of people in their struggles with addiction. But it's a little like a cult. Communion consists of coffee and cigarettes. Idiots who worship politicians. MLM's cultish behavior. Pyramid scheme structure means one rules them all. Members spread the word relentlessly. Goal is money collection. Shame members who leave. Crypto. MLMs. Your local boss babe crown small business owning hun may try to prove you otherwise though tongue out. God has been so good to her and she can't wait to share it party popper curious? Eyes just send her a DM and she'll let you know how to work from your phone revolving hearts clinking glasses don't miss this. Opportunity to level hands clapping up hands clapping your hands clapping life hands clapping. Burning man face with rolling eyes. Texas AM. Money. It also helps that money actually is a belief system. Without people believing in it and also believing that everybody else believes it. It's worthless trash. Andrew Tate's College of Learning How to Be an Alpha Male. People paid thousands just to be told to go to the gym and invest money they didn't have into. Stocks that fell off a few months later. Amway. Company culture. Astrology. Oh and the people that believe they can buy healing crystals from a store that burns enough. Incense to give you a headache. Taylor Swift fans. I like her songs but when I met people who likes her. They go crazy insane. And it's the only music they listen to 24-7. I met one fan who has 2k left on her savings and still spent it on a Taylor Swift concert. All her money is gone. And if someone ever make bad comments about her, the fans go bonkers. Reddit. Political parties especially American ones. Arbitrary fandoms for products media that won't love you back. U.S. political parties. Disney and Harry Potter fandoms. Apple people. Various diets. Like diehard keto people or the carnivore people. The content that gets put out feels so predatory and misleading. The allegiance to a political party, especially of their base supporters. Following a political party blindly. Scientology. Golf. And country club life in general.
but seriously golf. Dog shows. Source me. Who does dog shows? Dog show people are crazy. People's obsession with dogs. If you say dislike dogs they act like you've killed someone. Yoga class feels like church sometimes. Taylor Swift fandom. They're fucking fanatics. Political parties. Exercise. Or rather the people who have their whole life revolve around fitness. Being physically fit is important. But I cannot stand people who treat it like it is the end all be all of their existence. And I don't mean athletes who invest their lives in playing a specific sport. In that case, exercise is a means to achieve their goal. I mean the people who constantly talk about their gym routine, post workout photos from the locker room, and generally make people who don't exercise as much feel like subhumans. People who watch The Bachelor. Politics. Malignant consumerism buttressed by a stringent and holier than thou ethical standard about our environment. Any popular artist's fan base. The Grateful Dead. Political parties. Politics and political parties. The obsession with celebrities. Trends. Pop culture, etc. They aren't above anyone. They're humans who do bad things make mistakes, and are flawed just like us. They aren't exempt from facing the repercussions of their actions just because they happen to be good-looking. Y'all need to get a life zero. Ah. I'm typing this in my iPhone 15 Pro. This is the 15th consecutive year I've purchased a new iPhone. Politics. I'm older and pity younger folks who didn't get to experience the joy and lightness of being that we had in the 70s, 80s and most of the 90s when politics didn't seep into every stinking pore of our existence. We just were. And it was delightful. Avon. Apple. And the Elon Musk cult. Fraternities. CrossFit. Herbal life. A political party. Political affiliation. The obsession with science as a truth when it is in constant movement. Science is a tool. It is not a farm for factual reality. The bits we've locked down are very, very helpful. But something like 70 of sciences in constant evolution and even overwrite. That doesn't mean that the scientific method isn't essential. It absolutely is. But people that overly quote things as being scientific fact are often being as misplaced in their dogmatism as religious people. But that Newton was on to something. Sales hustle culture. Ah. Doctor Who. The fans are like fucking Jehovah's Witnesses. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior David Tennant? No. Go away. Also, while it has waned in recent years, Subaru ownership used to be right up there with the people's temple. Politics. Politics. Amway. Weight Watchers. You meet once a week. You share in a common belief system that you are all in it together. Then they have a big speech wherein they further indoctrinate you and ask you give them money for. Not a lot in return. Want to buy your own low-fat whippy bars? No you can't do that. It has to be their low-fat whippy bars. Put on half a pound since last week? You weren't following the rules hard enough and now you're being shamed in front of everyone. Honestly. It was such a weird thing to be part of. The witchy magic stone astrology stuff. Multi-level marketing. PETA. MAGA more of a cult than a religion, but that's just semantics. Apple users. I don't hold much stock in who is using what. But I hear more about how great people's iPhones are than I do from religious people that go. Knocking on doors. LGBT Kaya fanatics. And I'm gay.